This is TFNN, the Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN Headline News Update. Good morning, everyone. Basil Chapman here on this Wednesday, the 24th of May. And for the 10 o'clock Tiger Financial News Network, we're looking at the Dow down 200 at 32,857. That means it's taken out two things. It's taken out the left side low of 32,935 in that arch formation that became a lowercase h that goes to a lowercase m. And if it takes out that left side low, which it's done right now, um, you've got to be very careful. It's pushing away from the 200 period moving average. The S and P is also down quite. S and P is also down quite sharply, and the S and P at this particular point is down uh, 20. Uh, let me just see 28 points at 4,117. It's broken this uptrend support line. Now I, I did get a peak C in the uh, daily chart. You usually get a D for a very sharp turnaround, but look at this. The E mini went to an F slash C. That means there's a really good chance there's a peak F, which says that means there could be a sell signal generated in the uh, in the S and P very soon. The Dow's already been in a sell mode for some time. The S and P's held very well. Went to a new recovery high a few days ago. Now it's pulling back sharply. Look at the QQQ. It actually went to a peak D in the Chapman Wave methodology, down quite sharply today, down almost two points at 331.36. Going to be watching this one closely because if it starts to trade in the next three, four sessions going into early next week below 325, that's a big problem. Looking at the IWM, remember that one was doing quite nicely for a little while. Now it's dropped very sharply back into the trading range down two and a quarter at 176. I want to look at gold because gold is trying to hold. It's just down a fraction at this point at 1973. The way gold is looking. It's just making steadily lower highs and low lows, nothing serious. There could be one sharp intraday spike to the downside, and if it takes that 1950 support, that says it can go all the way to 1916, which is the 200 period moving average. But that really is dependent on whether the dollar is able to sustain any rally. And now it's only up a penny at 103.55. I'll take a little time when I come back for the Tiger Technicians Hour, and I want you to show you the TLT is having a little bit of a rally today. But wow, it's almost gone right back to the 99s. It's at 101 right now. I'll be back. Check out my opening call, the daily newsletter. And I'll be back for the Tiger Technicians Hour in a few minutes. And I will also be doing the 1 o'clock show as Larry is away. I'll be back.